Hello, good afternoon everybody and welcome to the Brewery Field for the final time this season as uh, Spennymoor look to defy the odds by ending the day inside the National League North playoff places. Somewhere they've not been since November the 7th as they host Chorley. Moore's task is easy to explain. They must win here, ideally by as big a margin as possible. Make two changes from Monday, disappointing defeat at Geisley. In come Mark Anderson and Jordan Preston. Out to both of the bench, drop Ryan Hall and Luke Spoke. So in a 4-2-3-1, Jordan Amissa is in goal. The back four right to left is Kenton Richardson, the captain James Curtis, Joe Tate and Ethan Pye, the two midfielders Mark Anderson and Jamie Chandler, with Jordan Thule is one side, Rob Ramshaw the other, Jordan Preston behind Glenn Taylor. Irwin, just outside the edge of his penalty area. Goes long, looking for Blythe again. Tate wins that header. It's a fall towards Preston, not quite. And it's looped up towards Taylor. They want an offside. Lovely turn. Not only getting offside. A lovely pass towards Thulis. He might get there first. As he ran the goalkeeper. It's fantastic defending. What's he giving? He's getting a penalty. Well, I wasn't expecting that because the goalkeeper, Owen, very clearly won the ball there. And the referee is pointing straight to the spot and gives Spenny more penalty after 16 and a half minutes. I feel very aggrieved if I was the Chorley goalkeeper. I don't think that's the right decision, but we'll take it. Spenny will have a penalty. That's the worst decision I've ever seen. Glenn Taylor was in matter. Referee makes sure everyone's outside the penalty area. 17 and a half minutes played. Right footer from Glenn Taylor. And he scores. <laughs> and Spenny Moore leads. And rightly so, they grab the ball and they run back to halfway. Well, some of them do, and <laughs> so they go and celebrate. Into the keeper's bottom right corner. We've played 18 minutes. It's Spennymore 1, Chorley 0. And that might just make things a little bit interesting. It's, but we've seen a few over the season. You do get a few. You just worry that uh, Johnson always says they level up over the course of the game. Ball back around here. Curtis slides in. Shot comes in and hands of a misser. Right at him, thankfully. From only probably eight or nine yards out after a long throw. Bounce around, I think, towards Holmes in the end. A lot of football to still be played. Anderson pings the ball in towards Curtis, who loses out in the air. Bounce on towards Ethan Pike. Good header towards the back post. Up in the air from Blakeman. Played it towards halfway. Take needs to win that header. He does. Then Ramshaw will take charge. He'll beat a man. He'll keep going with Rob Ramshaw. And he'll find Ethan Pine in a good position outside left here for Phil Spennymore. Low cross comes in towards Thulis. He bounces around towards Ramshaw. Who hits it! He hits Thulis and goes behind. I don't think it was goal bound from Ramshaw. I think he probably had too much height on it. There's left foot for Chorley. Looks like he's going to float the ball in. He plays it short back towards the near post. Blythe then teased up towards the edge of the penalty area. Curtis slips. Shot comes in. Off the bar. Across the far side. Anderson away. Towards halfway. And if Thulis can take this ball down. Oh, it's found. John Preston with it. Actually, on that far side. There's a break on it for Spennymore. Preston can... Can you see it back towards Thulis? Can't win the ball back. And it's teed all the way back towards the goalkeeper. Back to Richardson on halfway. Now round has it told to turn. We'll fizz a pass towards Taylor. Lovely pass. He's on side of Glenn Taylor. On his left foot. Edge of the air. He's still going. We'll try a shot, which is Pooh Sayle in his spot. Anderson! It's two! And lovely goal for Spennymore. That put a, such a high press on the wonder ball back inside the Chorley half. Taylor got the ball. A lovely reverse pass in the touchline. Ran in field with it. Shot came in. Keeper could parry it. Only as far as Mark Anderson who stayed on side and pokes the ball into an empty net. Spennymore double their lead. It probably won't matter with the results elsewhere, but Spennymore doing everything that they need to themselves. They lead Chorley by two goals to nil. Everyone's okay next to us. Nearly a little fall. Everyone's okay. Throw in for Chorley towards the edge of the penalty area. Lay back towards the far side towards Halls. Can he get a cross in on his right foot? A good back heel towards Leather. He might have a go here. He'll cross in towards the back post. Headed towards goal off the bar. 
for the third time this afternoon. Chorley hit the woodwork. He goes over the bar. It remains Spennymore 2, Chorley. They were played 58 and a half minutes. Still dinking towards the box. It's towards the back post. It's towards James Curtis. Off the line. What a fantastic save from the goalkeeper. And as far as Jordan Preston. Back with a dangerous area. And it's bouncing around. It can't clear. Preston had it once more. He's had a penalty area. Now Anderson has it on his near side. Decent looking ball in. Headed out. Will it be kept in play? It will. It's cleared away. James Curtis nearly opening his account for the season there. And that's going to be another little bit of a soft foul. Down the line towards Spokes. Lovely first touch. He's in behind here. Luke Spokes to Spennymore and pulls it square. Fantastic pullback. And there's no one there in a black and white shirt. It's a fantastic area. Richardson will keep it alive on this near side. On towards his left foot. Cross comes in. Not a bad one. Towards the back post. Well, Joe Tate! What a save for the goalkeeper. Who just punches that ball away at the near post. And now for Spennymore throw on the far side. In fact, he's gone. Did that hit the post? He's gone for it. He did hit the post. I thought the goalkeeper saved it. He's got a short option in Ryan Hall, which has been seen just about. And Pyan said will whip this ball himself. He curls it towards the back post, towards Joe Tate. Wins the header. It bounces around. Tate will take charge. Runs in field with it. Goes down. Wants a decision he's not going to get. And he rebounds away towards Chandler. Outside of him is Ryan Hall. Touch out of his feet. Good crossing position, which Hall, not a bad looking ball. Out towards the middle. Headed in. Oh, off the bar. Off the post road by Ramshaw. It falls towards Spokes. Comes in. Oh, and then Curtis had an easy option. He's had a six yard box there, and Curtis is just hitting. And he goes behind for a goal kick. That came off. I think the goal he pushed that onto the post. He will be relegated this afternoon to the Northern Premier League. And it's full time here as well. Spending more than everything that they could. They won the game which they needed to do. And they got a excited at one point in the second half when the results started to nearly just hint in their direction. It wasn't enough in the end, and despite spending more, it deserved 2 0 victory on the day, albeit coming to start with a very, very harsh penalty given against the goalkeeper, Matt Irwin. It wasn't to be enough, with Boston's win at Fastly Celtic, meaning that Spennymore cannot finish inside the playoffs.